Watch this video presentation and learn how to create diagrams and design the schema in a team, generate schema documentation, use data and query tools, and write automation scripts. DB Schema has few options to start a new project. The recommended method is to connect to an existing database, which will reverse engineer the schema from the database. Choose a database, and in the connection dialog select a connection alias, the JDBC driver, and the URL. Select if the database is running on this computer or a remote server. If is a remote server, enter the server host name and the port. Few databases may require enabling remote connectivity, TCP communication, or configuring firewalls. Press the help button to learn how to enable them. If you know the JDBC URL, select the Edit Manually option from the JDBC URL combo. Use this option if your database is running in the cloud, and copy the JDBC URL from the cloud console. After selecting the schemes to reverse engineer, DB Schema will create a few layouts. A layout is a diagram with data and query tools. Get a better understanding of the schema by creating further layouts with the same or different tables. Add tables to the layout by dragging and dropping them from the project structure or by clicking the foreign key icon near columns. From the application menu choose to show the data type or draw the foreign key lines pointing to columns. Double-click table headers, columns, or foreign key lines to edit or add comments. The HTML5 documentation after adding comments to tables and columns, generate HTML5 schema documentation and visualize it using any web browser. The documentation contains the interactive diagram vector image, where you can read the table and column comments as mouse over tooltips. Design the database schema. Check the currently connected database in the main menu. We can connect to a different database or design offline without database connectivity. Designing connected to the database and creating a column or table will add the column to the database and the design model. The executed SQL statement is visible in the SQL history pane. Let's switch to offline mode without database connectivity and add another column. The design model will contain the created column and the design model will be saved to a file. To ensure the design model is the same as in the database, press refresh schema from the database. The schema synchronization dialog will show the differences between the design model and the database. Merge the differences into the design model, commit to the database, or generate SQL scripts. Committing the changes can review the statements before execution. The design model DB Schema saves the schema structure to the design model file, a feature available in DB Schema Pro. The design model file uses the XML format, editable with any text editor. The design model file can be shared in a team using a Git repository, the best solution concerning data privacy. Use the Git dialog to stage the changes commit, pull, or push, compare different revisions, and generate migration scripts. Compare the current design model with another design model from a file, using the options from the schema menu. 
Data architects and developers can develop the database schema and share it with testers using a Git repository. Testers can deploy the schema in the test database and fill the tables with randomly generated data. Administrators can deploy the schema into the production databases. The Relational Data Explorer DB Schema includes multiple tools. Start the Relational Data Explorer by clicking any of the table headers. Cascade further tables by clicking the foreign key arrow icon. Cascade as many tables as you like. Navigating records in one table will update the cascading tables with the matching records fitting on the foreign key. Add filters and order from the table header context menu. Insert or delete records. Double click any cells to edit. Insert multiple lines of text by pressing Enter with the Ctrl key pressed. Edit different cells simultaneously. The Data Explorer is saved to the design model file and can be reopened after restarting DB Schema. The Virtual Foreign Keys If the schema is missing foreign keys, create virtual foreign keys by dragging and dropping one column over the referred column. Tick the virtual checkbox and the foreign key will be created only in the design model. Use virtual foreign keys in the Relational Data Explorer, Visual Query Builder, or for documentation purposes. The Visual Query Builder Start the Visual Query Builder by clicking any table header in the layout. Click the foreign key icon near columns to join further tables. If the schema is missing foreign keys, you can create virtual foreign keys in the layout. Choose left join, exists, not exists, from the join combo. Tick the columns to select. View the generated query in the SQL preview pane on the right. Right-click columns to set filters or add aggregate functions. This operation will add a grouping clause to the query. The design model file will save the query builder. The SQL Editor Edit and execute queries using the SQL Editor. Press Control Space for auto-completion. Run individual queries or execute the complete script. Double-click cells in the result pane to edit. Save the result to CSV or Excel files. The Automation Scripts Execute automation scripts with access to DB Schema API by switching from SQL to Java Groovy. Groovy is an extension of Java, fully compatible with Java and JavaScript. Sample automation scripts are available under the Tools menu. Use automation scripts to generate HTML documentation, deploy the schema into the database, or generate migration scripts. Besides text comments, each table or column can have comments as key value tags, which can be used in the automation scripts. Execute automation scripts using the DB Schema command line interface, a separate software included in the installation package. The Data Generator Use the data generator to fill tables with randomly generated data for test purposes. First, create a layout with the tables to use. 
For each table, select the number of records to generate, and a generator pattern for each column. The patterns can be predefined, like number and date patterns, or can be a reverse regular expression, for generating random text. The logical and physical design. Use the logical design to create a database-independent schema design with entities, fields, and relations. Relations can have a cardinality, one-to-one, one-to-many, identifying. These options are not available in the physical design, where the cardinality is a consequence of the column uniqueness and is mandatory. Use the grid editor for faster editing. Generating the physical design will convert the column names and data types as defined in the conversion dictionaries. The licensing and technical support. DB Schema has two editions, a community and a pro edition. The pro edition enables all features, including the design model and all databases. The Pro licenses are perpetual and include a one-year free upgrade to newly released versions and technical support. In case of technical issues, contact our support using the Technical Support dialog from the Help menu.